The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. As a father is tender towards his children, so is the Lord tender to those that fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass. We flourish like the flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever and ever toward those that fear him and his righteousness upon their children's children. Paula, open the door. Paula, can you hear me? Open the... What? Paula, I'm coming in, you hear me? Whatever you've done, you've got to tell me. I want to know the truth. We have entrusted our sister Carol to God's merciful keeping, and we now commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Why did we do it, Val? Why? Why did we have to use guns? I can't bear looking at that child knowing that we took his mother from him. It's all our fault. No, Kathy, it isn't our fault. It was Carol's decision. Nobody forced her into it. Look at them. They can't even leave her alone at her own funeral. Why did we do it now? Why? Well. Hello, Kath. Thanks for coming down. She thought the world of you, you know that, don't you? <laughs> hey? You look after yourself, all right? I'll see you later. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to leave? yourself up. The gun that you shot her with matches the one used in the bank robbery. We found the rest of them hidden in your mum's flat. We know that one gang member is a woman. We think it was your mum. How'd you get her involved, Jason? Who else was involved? There were four of you, at least we know that much. 
I now propose to show a videotape to Jason Murphy. Exhibit JF4. We need you to confirm it's your mother's voice. We are not stupid. We don't want to hurt anyone, and we are not on drugs. We just don't have very much experience. We are doing this because we need the money. Mom. If we were as stupid as you say we are, how come we haven't caught us yet? What was it you said? A woman wouldn't be involved in this sort of job. But what are the odds on the whole gang being All we've got so far is Carol Murphy and this Paula Sullivan. Yeah, I know that, sir. But Darren, just bring in Paula Sullivan and don't piss about. So that was the funeral. Uh, I read about her in the papers. I got some baby clothes, legit, like. Uh, I've got them off a geezer on the rank. Thanks, man. Yeah, well, I know money's tight and everything. Uh, time for a beer? I best get back, you know what I mean? All right, later then. You've been avoiding me. Well, I guess that must mean the answer's no, then. I'm already married, Marcus. You got any idea where she might have gone? Look, we know she's got a sister, Valerie Mercado. Could she have gone there? Your wife's in danger. She's been involved in a number of armed robberies and the attempted murder of a policeman. For her sake, I need to find her before things get worse. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you care for her, you must help me. Paula! He knows. Right? And... I told him that me and Carol were armed bank robbers. Tell him about me and Kath. No, no. I didn't have any choice. I think I've lost him. It'll be all right. We're going to get through this and, and you're going to be fine. I don't know what to do that in. You'll have to go and stay at Kath's. Well, I need him. I'm surprised they haven't found us yet. And they found the guns, they got Jason. It's only a matter of time. Well, we can't just stand here and wait for them. Running costs money. We just lost all ours. Then let's get some more. What? Well, is that all prison? I know what Carol would have done. I said I'd look after the kids. But you don't have to run, Val. You're only the driver. The rat of the guns. Blame it on your hormones. You might only get a year. Maybe even a suspended sentence. Yeah, and you've got something to stay for. I mean, I lost Anthony, but you've still got Alan. 
Alan's the reason I've got to go. It'll kill him if you leave. It'll kill him if I stay. Seeing his wife giving birth to the wrong coloured baby. Everything he ever wanted. Everyone he... He ever trusted. Gone. So we decided then, yeah, Kathy? Yeah. Paula, I don't think I can do this anymore. You have to. If you stay here, you're looking at 20 years. They'll do you for attempted murder. Paulie. Listen, you got us into this. You've got to help us get out. If we do this, we split the money four ways, right? Carol's share goes to Phil and the kids, OK? Shit! Hide! Please, you need help. I've told you, I can handle it. Kathy, I'm a cop. I can sort these people out Shh. for you. I'm fine. They taught your house. Your kids could have been killed. Do you think I don't know that? One day you're going to have to admit that you need some help. And you know what? No one's going to be there when you do. Chris, you don't understand. Yeah, you're right. I don't understand. Kathy, I love you. I don't love you. I don't believe you. Before you say anything, I didn't know, okay? And now he hasn't got a clue. Is he the one that I, uh, shot? Yeah. All right. So, all this time that you've been saying I'm a dangerous nutter, you've been shagging a bloody copper. I told you I didn't know. It was an accident! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not funny, you two. I've been shagging a bloody copper! <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> Shut up, quiet. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. <laughs> Gabby, what is it? Just like getting away, money. I've been invited to a do at Michael's old club. They must be loaded. And after what Mike was done, they owe me one. This is our ticket out of here. Now, behind us here is a West Stand. That was built in 1925 at a cost of £6,000. Our aim is to knock it down and replace it with a new state-of-the-art stand. A stand that will take West Ham into the new millennium. Sounds expensive. <laughs> well, that's where you all come in. <laughs> Champagne, anyone? Listen, um, I heard about Michael. I know it can't be easy, so if there's anything we can do... Thanks, Ray, but, um, we're fine. Well, let me get you some tickets for the semis in a couple of weeks. I know young James would love it. Uh, well, I'm not sure I'm going to be here. Look, I'm offering you front row seats, VIP treatment, the works. Yeah, I know, but, uh, like All I right, said... All right, it's your choice. Cheers, Peter. <laughs> Cathy, are you aware these tickets are like gold dust to get hold of? I guarantee, within an hour of them going on sale tomorrow, they'll be gone. People queue up over night to get their hands on them. Excuse me.
Well, what do you think? We can do it and be out of the country by this time tomorrow. Nothing's that easy. This is. We hit the ticket office just before the final whistle. Walk out surrounded by 30,000 fans. Even if they were looking for us, they're never going to find us amongst that lot. Yeah, it sounds great, but how do you hit the ticket office when the place is swarming with coppers? Simple. There's loads of waitresses in hospitality, right? Paula can pass us up as one of them. I'll be in one of the VIP suites and I'll slip off during the match. Meet Paula and together we pay the ticket office a little visit. We're gonna need guns. How do I pass myself off as a waitress? I mean, we're gonna need security passes and stuff. Like these. With respect, boss, what exactly are we waiting for? Why don't we just go in here and get them out? Because all we've got is circumstantial. There's nothing concrete. Yeah, but it's pretty persuasive, though. Michael Lawrence does a runner with all the family silver and some bird he's been shagging. Gives his wife one hell of a motive for robbery. So what is it you would like to do? Go in there all guns blazing? <sighs> they're women. So? So they're frightened and they're armed. You go charging in there now. I could have a bloodbath on my hands. We sit tight and we wait for the right moment. So what was he like then? Who? Shaft. <laughs> PC plod. Not Michael. Sounds serious. I meant nothing. Just a fling, that's all. Oh, I can't help thinking. What if none of this had ever happened? And Carol was still here. Believe she hired a getaway car. Where do you reckon we're going to be this time tomorrow then? Your aunt always said that we'd go to Barbados, you know, if we won the lottery. Come on, we're in a hurry. <laughs> Where are we going? On holiday. What about school? It'll only be a few days. Will Daddy be there? No. No, he won't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I better be off to make Kathy. Oh. What's up? We've had some good times, haven't we? You're joking. The best. You always will. <laughs> That's one thing I'm not going to miss. I'll always love you. Oh, you couldn't get us a paper wire out, could you? Yeah, of course. Lawrence has just left the house, Paula Sullivan's with her. Looks like they're going on holiday. Alma Cardell's on the move. Right. Let's go all the major airports and ferry terminals. If it looks like they're doing a run-up, we bring them in. But only then, all right? Just remember, you don't know Paula, OK? It's all part of the game. Come on. Delta Tango 4. Blind alley by the looks of it. They just take their kids to a football match. Kathy, you made it. You made it so soon, you just got here. We're going on holiday. Yeah, straight after the match. Good idea, you deserve it. Right, kids, the match is about to start. Let's get out there. Come on. James, you should put this. for me in cash. You're supposed to be inconspicuous. Give it five minutes, all right? Now, now, uh, <clears throat> do you have a sandwich? Have a sandwich? Marvellous.
won't be long, all right. Sort of treatment? Yeah, it's the least that I could do. Hey, mate, them women that shot you are only turning over West Ham. Oh, you know they are? Yeah, we do now. Turns out to be the missus of one of the old players. Some bird called Cathy Lawrence and her mates. You get a move on, you might get a chance to stick one in her. Is that right? Come on! Are you sure? Are you sure you've got the name right? All units up to pod. Please do not make contact with the suspects until we arrive. They may be armed and dangerous.
Cathy, I can't believe you're leaving me for the end. Yeah. Let me give you a hand. These are heavy. No, that's no, all right. Please. No, I'm fine, honestly. This is a public announcement for Mr. Paul Sullivan. Mr. Paul Sullivan to the first aid room. Your wife Val is having a baby. Mr. Paul Sullivan to the first aid room. Your wife Val is having a baby. Sealed off. Boss said just about to blow the final whistle. There's going to be 25,000 people wanting to go home. I want all the streets cordoned off. No one's to get through. Yes? Look, they must be here somewhere. You've just got to find them. Hello, Kathy. Was it you? What? Was it you who tried to shoot me? No. Chris, Jesus! Is that why you slept with me? What do you mean? What was it? You found out I was a cop and you thought you could get some inside information. No, out of me. Chris, you've got it all wrong. You're a bank robber, Kathy. An armed bank robber. Where are you going? Do my job. Just listen to me. Let me explain. I said, listen to me! I didn't plan any of this, OK? It just happened. Well, that's good. So what? You're going to finish the job off properly now, hmm? Ago. It's taking a pregnant woman and her sister to the hospital. And Kathy Lawrence? Not yet. Ow, you're elbowing me! I can't move! Stay nice and still. I'm sorry, so we've got an incident. No one's getting through at the moment? Yeah, I know. Please. All right. Yeah, let him through. Thanks. Baby's breach and she's hemorrhaging really badly. Do you know your blood type? Do you know your blood type? I don't know. Hello? Paula, this is Detective Inspector Finch. This isn't doing you any good. Come on. Give yourself up before this gets out of hand. My sister needs to get to the hospital and I don't want any police there, all right? And I've got hostages! Paula, no! I look, she don't mean it. I want to say she don't mean it. Listen, I'm kind of busy right now, OK? Just bring me back later. I said, piss off! Paula, it's me. 
There's been a change of planning here. I can't explain why. You and Val head towards Burtonfield Airstrip. It's past price five. Right. Yeah, Kath, there's been a little bit of a change of plan this end as well. Val's having the baby. We've got to go back. We can't. We don't get to that airstrip. The only place you're going is prison. I don't care. I can't leave Val, Chris. You've got no choice, Kathy. <laughs> There in a few more minutes, love, right? And they give you something more for the pain. So just let no, hang stop. on. No, stop! Pull over! I want her to go. Oh, give her something for the pain. Please, just get that thing out of my face. It's not helping. Look, he's right, Paula. Please, just go. Oh, I'm just gonna get on with it. Can't just leave ya. You have to. You can't have this baby for me. And I've just got to get on with it. And I can't do that if you're waving a gun around, bringing people out. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Listen. Okay, you will have the baby and then I'll get you out of there. For God's sake, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, oh, look, it's finished. It's finished, Paula. <laughs> Because I'm an idiot, remember? Anything when questioned, you'd like to rely on in court. Do you understand? Mum, why haven't we called like Auntie Val get here? I don't know, darling. We might have to go ahead of them. Okay. This is Jim. He's going to fly us over the channel. Then we can get another flight from there, okay? We? You coming? My wife's Val McArdle. She's coming to labour. But she's premature. The baby's very early. Mr McArdle, Detective Inspector Finch. <laughs> Just copy your wind up, right? <laughs> My Val, a bank robber. <laughs> you haven't met her, mate. <laughs> no, no. No, oh, I'm sorry, but I, I ain't got time for this. You, my wife's just given birth to my child, and I'd like to be with her. All right? Which one is she? She's that one. Beautiful fucking thing you've seen in your life. Sorry. Well, that's nothing to what your wife was saying in the delivery room. <laughs> She'll be all right. Yes, signs are she is a real fighter. I'll see my wife now, please. Okay, she should be awake by now. Would you like to follow me? alone, eh? Giving me love. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me.
did you see her? Is she all right? Did the doctors tell you anything? Said she's a fighter. She's beautiful, Mel. <sighs> did the police tell you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted to tell you. She's got my nose. And your eyes. That sort of pass. I love you, Helen. I love you too.